What is good everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're showing you guys a bunch of settings you need to be using in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Ranked Play. So first I'll start with the graphics, the ADS field of view, affected. What affected does is when you aim in, your screen does not really zoom in. So this is good for like if you're a fast paced player, uh, an SMG player, and you're kind of like running around and doing things. But if you're an AR player, or you like to like tend to sit back and look over your teammates more, you should definitely try independent when you go back to it. As you can see, when I aim in, it zoomed my whole screen in. So it's easier for the long range gunfights to just like be ready and track that person as well with the aim assist. So you should definitely uh, give this a try. I personally like affected, but independent is good. Effect is good. It's all just personal preference at the end of the day. Make sure you have a comfortable field of view as well. I think 100 is very good. Put your weapon view on wide because when you have your weapon view on default, if you like this, your weapon is a lot bigger. But if we go back and put it on wide. Your weapon is not taking up as much of your screen, which is very helpful in a lot of those long range gunfights. And uh, yeah, we'll just clear up your screen. You're able to focus on the enemy more than having to focus on your weapon on your screen. Now let's talk about the most important movement settings. Is it very important to run single tap run? Pretty much what that means is right when you hit your analog once, you start sprinting fast as you can. Instead of having to like, double tap, which could take longer, so single tap is very good to just have good movement, slide around, running back, Single tap it just happens a lot quicker but another setting you could use to get really fast and smooth movement if you go to controller you go to gameplay you just automatic automatic tactical sprint on and pretty much what that means right when you push your analog stick up you start full sprinting now you do got to be careful in this game because if you are pre-aiming a lot you got to make sure you are pre-aiming before you start doing it because you can get right when you push it forward you sprint so your gun kicks up so if you're going to be like snaking something you can like snake and then make sure you're automatically pre-aiming so you need to lay down sprint out but pre-aim sprint out, sprint out and pre-aim at the exact same time so you're ready for the gunfight you're not caught like this with your gun kicking up if you're wondering why your game could be looking bad if you put your fidelity cas strength all the way down to like 50 and apply it does not look as sharp as it usually does uh, but if you put it all the way up to 100 it will completely clear your screen up and it will everything will look crystal clear so put it back to 100 apply and everything just looks way way better you could tell the colors you can see people through glass a lot easier you just do so much more with these settings or with fidelity cs on 100 so make sure you always have that setting on 100. if you are not using dynamic you absolutely need to and you are at a disadvantage right now dynamic says ideal for more experienced players faster starting movement that slows down to the aiming rate reverse s curve mapping so pretty much what that means is when on the outer side of your analog it is moving quickly quickly but you're able to go from player to player so you can get move quick but it will lock onto that player once you get that kill you can log onto another player and get that kill but if you go back to the controller settings and you look where it says for like standard ideal for new players slow starting movement you do not want slow starting movement you want the quickest one as possible to be able to go from player to player because if you are going slow it's gonna be hard to get the two pieces and three pieces and to transfer your aim from one player to another so make sure you are using a dynamic if you are a new player it might take some getting used to but trust me in the long run it will help so much more rather than playing on standard or linear now let's talk about your dead zones right now i have my left stick on zero my right stick on one 99 99 for right stick max and left stick max zero for left trigger and right trigger so pretty much what this means are if you turn it up you to like let's say 10 you need to put more pressure on your trigger for it to actually shoot so you want to always have your left trigger and right trigger on zero and then my controller is on point right now if i shoot at this wall right here and i let go i'm not holding my controller it is just staying perfectly still there's no stick drift or anything that's a really good thing because a lot of the time your controller will be like slowly going like this and usually that's what happens when you use controllers over time. When you use them over time, like it's gonna happen, but luckily my controller's in a perfect spot. So I just have the dead zone on zero, one. But if it is still moving, you can slowly move it up by one. So let's say it was moving. I'd have to move it up to like three. If it's still moving, I might bump it up one more to four and so on and so forth. So you can also test your dead zone in the settings with the dead zone stick test. Like my right stick just goes to zero, zero, which is good. My left one is like one negative one but it's still really good that my right stick because your right stick is the one that you really be aiming with so that's the one that's like most important to, to be honest make sure you have a slide only on for your slide slash dive behavior it's under gameplay 
slide only for tap to slide is disabled dives you literally are not able to dive anymore you're always just sliding diving is not that good in this game is not useful so pretty much if you do end up keeping it on and or tap to slide you will sometimes accidentally dive if you hold on so you want to make sure you just have slide only every professional player and streamer only uses slide only because the diving mechanic it used to be good in Modern Warfare 2, but it's just not really good in this game at the moment. It's not the meta. Usually, your slide hands about head glitches, snaking a couple times, slide, snake, chow. But you want to make sure you're just not dolphin diving because your character moves so slow. So it's going to just give the enemy more time to shoot at you and get the kill. And uh, yeah, there's just no real reason to ever use a dive in this game. A sliding is just w much more effective in Modern Warfare 3. And for your FOV, 120 is kind of crazy. Your game looks like a montage. And honestly, you just kind of think you can do it all because you're sliding so quickly. But I personally recommend you play anywhere from 100 to 105. That's like the sweet spot. Personally, I like 100. I think it's the best one to play on. You also need to make sure you have your world and weapon motion blur off because we are spinning like this. Your world gets all crazy and then you just do not want to do this because i don't know this confuses me this hurts my head when that setting is on so make sure you absolutely have world motion blur and weapon motion blur off first person camera movement 50 percent film grain all the way down to zero if you do not have it on zero let's say you have it all the way up here it'll be very very grainy it'll be kind of like pixelated even so make sure you always have film grain on zero and these off off they're absolute must make sure you always have your render resolution at 100 if you do not have it at 100 you will not be getting at the max frames possible like i said earlier fidelity cs at 100 as well and then depth of field you want to make sure you have this off because if you turn it on it will kind of adds a slight blur to the things outside of your um aim so everything gets kind of blurry that's like not aiming around and that just might hurt you like seeing someone um just setting i would not prefer for anyone to use i uh, just don't see the benefit in it so make sure you have that off always you always want to have player names on a full name the reason for that being is when you are aiming at something and someone might be like laying in a bush you will see their full gamer tag the red name their clan tag the red dot above their head as well it's very important especially like find people that are just like kind of playing credit in a corner or laying down in some random dark area of a map crosshairs you always want to have on static for sure mini map rotation will always be on so as you can see i could like turn my mini map in the top left is moving and i can like kind of get more info like based on how i'm turning like, i see more of the plane when i look towards the plane like right now i can kind of see the top of the raft the ramp of the plane if i turn i can't see that but if i just keep it on um if i have it on off then my thing isn't turning and i can't see as much so you could use the turning ability to actually get more information because now you could just see more of the map depending on what you're turning on it will take some time to uh, like do that and like be good at it and like getting the information but it is a good thing to start practicing now so make sure you have that setting on if you do not put it on asap and also a good thing to do is to do color customization a lot of people mess with this they will change like you to a different color or your team to another color they can have like the enemies be blue or something which is a really cool thing they have added on call of duty so do whatever you think is best because people will use all the i've seen the craziest colors get used so make sure you are using that and the best audio mix to use is definitely headphone bass boost it will help you hear everything clearer whether that be enemy footsteps there if they're walking on like metal or wood or like running through grass all certain things are very important that can help you get more kills that's going to be it for the video if this video helps I appreciate you guys watching till the end. You are a, re a real one. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. And as always, my name is Attach, and I'm out. Peace.